Hey guys, it's me, Audrey, also known as Noble Strength. Thank you so much for tuning in. And this is a very impromptu video. I'm just chilling at home. This is officially the last day of summer. So if you're a teacher, give me a shout out. Hey, how much longer do you have before you have to go back? I go back tomorrow. The kids come back a week from tomorrow. So we're going to be having a week of pre-planning, meetings, all that stuff that teachers have to do the part that's the least enjoyable i prefer being with the kids and being creative in the classroom that's my favorite part but today i want to share with you some updates that i'm doing in my closet not anything major i mean minor minor updates i am just changing out my hangers guys but you know hangers can make a big difference in closet space so i got these space saver hangers some of you may know about them you can buy them anywhere practically but I got mine at Walmart and so I'm gonna share with you uh, the changes that it made in my closet you know just very sweet just the little things so I'm gonna share that with you and then I'm gonna share with you my jewelry collection because some of you have asked me to do that since I'm always sharing about like um, fashion and things like that and jewelry is a big part of fashion so i will be sharing that and since i'm going to be sharing that i'm going to highlight these earrings right now as you can see these earrings are um like eggshell crushed up eggshells and they have been painted on so yeah i got these um when i used to be on instagram but i'm no longer on instagram but this artist was selling them and i bought them because i thought they were really unique and cool but anyway i'll be sharing some highlights from my jewelry collection for so if you're interested in that type of thing please stay tuned click like and subscribe and i will see you next time uh i mean i'll see you <laughs> at the end of the video For those of you who've been with me for a while, you've seen this closet before. Pretty same concept, but what I did do is I went and purchased a boatload of these non-slip space saver hangers by Better Homes at Walmart. And so I got these just to kind of see what difference it would make in my closet. These have like a little velvety covering on them and then they have the gold hardware at the top. I also bought some Walmart brand and these are plastic. They don't have the covering and then they're silver at the top. So I just got a bunch of hangers and switched out as many of my old ones as I could. My closet is color coordinated so I have a lot of black. Then my black and whites, whites, neutrals, reds, purples, blues, greens, and then kind of some prints and patterns. But um, I keep my jeans here on the white ones and then my black slacks on there. I did purchase some of these skirt hangers also from Walmart because I needed some more and I'd still need to get some more because I've been doubling up my skirts on these and I really want them to have their individual hangers. And um, I did not have quite enough. So these are what my old hangers look like, the thick plastic ones. And so I'm gonna have to make some more purchases on those. But you can kind of see, I also need to make some more purchases for my dresses and switch those out. So I'm gonna do that as well. So I need to purchase about maybe 80 more hangers to get all of the hangers the way that I want them. But this is what it looks like. And so let's see, let's squish them together. They really do compact nicely, which I like. So you can see there's a lot more space that can go in here. This is not going to tempt me by any means to go out and thrift any more than I already thrift. I'm just going to continue to thrift at the pace that I have been. So I will be having a haul for you coming up in August, guys, which is tomorrow, by the way. <laughs> but yes, I have done that. And like I say, just so much space. Look at there. If I push them all out, look how much space I will have left in my closet. So cool. But like I say, I like everything kind of spaced out. I like to be able to see each item. So yeah, I kind of do that. But yeah, these are really great. So if you're thinking about buying these space saver hangers, I say grab you some. Now, if you're one of the people who likes to kind of just and yank off their clothes and pull off your clothes off the hanger that's not going to work with these the especially the non-slip ones they're just they're made to stay and not slide off so if you're looking for that you're not going to like these but anyway 
that's the update on the closet still got some more hangers to buy now let's go check out the jewelry why don't we so i keep my jewelry a multiple ways one of the ways is on this shelf in our linen closet and i keep them some of them in these stackable uh tackle boxes that i got from walmart which is really cool they have these individual dividers in there um i put some on these little jewelry showcase pieces that i got from joann's which is kind of like michael's if you have a michael's or hobby lobby they sell these because a lot of people are into making jewelry and collecting jewelry so i do that on the shelf there and then over here i just did this little framing, really easy DIY to do, really cool. And all you have to do is purchase a ready-made frame from like Michaels or Hobby Lobby, buy you some screening from like Home Depot and get a staple gun and just cut the screen to fit the size of the opening and just staple it to the back and voila, you have you a nice way to store your jewelry. So this is what I do for all my hook jewelry and I love that. And like I say, this is the tackle box. It comes like with these little plastic dividers so you can section them off any way that you want. And they're stackable, which I really love. You just snap them closed so they're easy to close. And then look how cool these things stack. So space saving, slender, space saving, slide out, easy to just throw in your suitcase when you're traveling and it doesn't take up a lot of room you can put it in last on top of your clothes once they've been packed and you're ready to go and they're nice and protected so another way that i store is i put them in these little plastic bags that i get with my linen i never throw these away because they're very good storage bags so i keep all of my big chunky bracelets in here that is the way that i store so now let's take a look at some of my favorite pieces, guys. So this video may be a little long if you want to get something to drink and chill out. And if you love jewelry, go ahead and click like and subscribe because that's what I'm highlighting today. And so anyway, like I said, a lot of these things were gifted. Some were purchased at like street festivals, art fairs, things like that. Some at... Target, some at Wally World, better known as Walmart. So yeah, just different places. And so um, I love wooden pieces. So anything wooden, I gravitate towards. I just love wood. Anything natural, I love. Stones, I love. Turquoise, I love. These I got this summer. These were made in Africa and these are a type of stone with some beading. These were handmade. Love those. Got them at a museum there. And then these I purchased in my first trip to New Orleans. New Orleans, New Orleans, however you pronounce it. But I got these. These are made from rubber. And I don't know how they got the uh, color in there, but the guy was using like this blow torch to kind of melt the wax and get the colors to show through and I just get so many compliments on those. I'll show you the ones that I get the compliments on the most. These just got those. Every time I wore them, I got compliments. These I always get compliments. These are Walmart brand, but I always get compliments on the texturing and that little glazing over the colors always get compliments these are a statement piece a lot of people comment on those when i wear them these are some Target brand that i've had for years i get compliments on these a lot um let's see these surprisingly are probably the ones i get complimented on the most and i got these at walmart for like a dollar and you have the multicolored thing going on here but they are very eye-catching and I tend to gravitate towards these like teardrop shapes as you can see they tend to fit with my oblong face shape better I don't know they just really kind of go well with my face shape I get a lot of compliments on these as well and these were gifted to me by my husband they have a matching hat and flower um, I actually love these but um, they're so tiny they're not like eye-catching, but I just love them. It's like copper and turquoise. And I got these 
with a nice deal at the flea market. She was like five for three dollars or five for two, I don't know, something like that. Um, these are two of my favorites right here. Um, I got these at like a little antique store. These were a gift from a friend. I like them because they have that Native American feel to them with that little webbing. I love. These are some Lucky Brand. I love Lucky Brand a lot. These were a gift. Um, let's see here. These were also a gift. My friends usually pick up jewelry when they travel because they know I like that. These were a thrift store fine retro. Love these. Probably from the 80s. More Lucky Brand. I like those as well. Flea Market. These were a gift as well. So Flea Market. A lot of these things were Flea Market Lucky Brand. And yeah, so that's that. Now as far as my favorite pieces from here, I would have to say this piece here because a student of mine, Adelie Price, who may be very famous one day, a very good artist. She was in third grade, so maybe eight years old, and she gifted that to me. It's a little pen, and it has my name on it from Adelie. I love it. I will treasure this forever. I love it. And I wore it to the art show that we had, the county art show, and she came, and she just was in awe that I even had it on. These are some brooches that can also be pendants on a necklace and i just love those as well uh, i got those from goodwill a lot of thrift store finds guys now i love big chunky bracelets these are a few of my favorites made in india not sure how they got that design in there but love that i love as i say wooden pieces and the fact that this is brass and wood and it had a set Love that. This is two of them. Flea market. Most of these are flea market. Brass bangle, which I love. Flea market. I use brass so on that. This I got at like an arts craft festival. This is a leather band with snake skin. I paid a little bit more than what I would typically pay. I think this was like $45, but I just love it. It's just unique and different, and I like unique and different things. Uh, just a lot of brass type things and wooden things and beaded things. So that's I love. And whenever I see someone making things by hand, I get those. Here's a little piece. Let me see if I can get it out. That I saw a woman wearing a pin and I loved it. And she told me that her mother makes these little pins. My son was little at the time when I saw this. So there's this little pansy, and this was made in 2007, but it has a picture of my son, and he has the little shoes, and I just thought that was so artsy and cute, so I wear it, and it came with its own little jewelry bag for storage, which is so cool, super. All right, so let's wrap this up. Let's do some highlights. This is one of my favorite pieces of statement jewelry. This is by Daryl Roach, a well-known designer and artist, and he's done a lot of jewelry designs that have been featured in runway shows and cover um, magazine covers and things like that. I think Angela Bassett wore one of his in a photo shoot, and he's got some other artists but Daryl Roach, I'll link them below so you can check him out. Um, let me just pull this out real quick because there are a couple of things in here that I want to highlight. Let's see. Okay, so I just recently thrifted this. I'm going to gift this to one of my colleagues who teaches kindergarten. I thought this would be so appropriate. She loves wearing pins, so that would be a nice gift, and I thrifted that. These are some earrings that I look forward to wearing this year because they remind me of Jackson Pollock, a well-known American artist. Look at that, that he used to sling that paint across and um, the board, the canvas. Another favorite piece is this Tennessee piece. I picked this up at an arts festival that we have every year, which is coming up soon, by the way, Arts in the Heart of Augusta. And this lady makes these uh, pendants from old maps. So I, me being a Tennessee girl, I got this. It's 
It's got my hometown of Memphis, where I went to school, Nashville. Love this, so I wear that. One of my favorite necklaces I got at a museum, it says, Feet, why do I need you if I have wings to fly? And it's a quote from one of my favorite artists, Frida Kahlo. Her story is one of triumph. She went through so much adversity and pain in her life, but she just, you know, got it out through painting, which I really love. Now, there's some not so admirable things that people could say about her, but I try to focus on the good in people. This is a pendant that I thrifted and I love the colors in that. Just absolutely stunning. So I like that. Some nice like brass pieces that I got. Just really nice and delicate and dainty. Flea market. Another flea market piece that I really love are these. Look at that. Looks like stained glass. Love it. Beautiful. So, oh, and I don't know if you guys have heard of Premier Jewelry, but I like this because it's switchable. It's like interchangeable. You can unhook this and then on the hinge and wear it that way or that way, however you want. And the earrings do, the matching earrings do the same thing. So you can just slide them off the hook turn around and wear them the other way. So I love that. Okay. All right, wrapping this up. We're at 14 minutes. But I talked about Daryl Roach. I'll link that below. Here are some of my rings. These are like a few of my favorites. I just like the colors. These, This is like set in sterling silver. It has the stamping in it and then this beautiful stone with that kind of like amber look. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, just kind of matching. I like the colors in those. This is also beautiful set in silver and I love the detailing on that. Look at that. Gorgeous. But God, this TJ Maxx has some really good silver jewelry. If you look behind the case and look in the clearance section, you can get some good deals sometimes. This piece I have to highlight because this was a collaborative custom design with me and a well-known designer, Pata. Pata Studio is in New York City, and the owner, he is he goes by Pata, and he's done designs for some well-known artists such as Erica Baidu. A lot of his work has been featured in magazines and things. But this is made using the blue wax method, mold method. And this is very weighty, very heavy. These are precious stones. Um, this is lapis lazuli, the blue. And then you have the mother of pearl and then the turquoise. And one of my turquoise stones fell out and I had to take it to a jeweler to get it fixed. And they didn't match it up quite well, but at least I have a stone and not an empty space there. But I paid a pretty penny for that. I did some installment payments on that, but it's a piece that I'll have forever. This piece is a shell. I just think that's cute in sterling silver. TJ Maxx, another TJ Maxx, sterling silver. Just really nice design. This was a gift from my mom. This is 10 karat gold, and that's blue sapphire, I believe but that is 10 karat, it's got the stamping in there. This was a gift from one of my favorite uncles who was recently in a car accident, guys, so pray for him, Elbert. He's almost 90 years old, he'll be 90 next month. But this is a pink sapphire star ring. And as you can see, let me see, I love this ring. But, so that's one of my favorite, and that's in sterling silver. This is my class ring. From 89, guys, got the Cardinals. We were the Wooddale Cardinals. And there you go. You've got the school seal there. So, love that. And that is, I think this is 14 karat gold. Yeah, 14 karat. And this is just street fair rings that I got that I thought were really cool. And then lastly, but not least, are some bracelet statement bracelets that I love. I got that at a museum. I like the glass working on that one. 
and uh, some beading that was a gift from a colleague. This I got at the flea market, but it's a leather band with beading. This was made in Africa. Juicy Couture, thrifted. Uh, my Lucky Brand favorite pieces, Lucky Brand, TJ Maxx, but I just love the stonework on that. And these are some of the cleaners that I use. I get at Walmart. Jewelry cleaner, it's just gold for semi-precious. You drop your jewelry in there, let it soak, brush it with a brush, and I have it for silver as well. So those are my pieces. I hope you enjoy. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this little impromptu share of the day. No glamour to it, no... Guys, I just got on here and just started filming. So thank you so much for tuning in. I know it's not at the level of these big time YouTubers where they have all the perfect lights and stuff like that. But hey, it is what it is. And maybe one day I'll upgrade, who knows. But thank you so much for taking the time to tune in and share your day, part of your day with me. Let me know in the comments below, what's your favorite type of jewelry? Do you like wooden jewelry? Do you like gold, silver, like stones? Let me know what you like, or do you like quirky stuff? I just would love to hear from you because I love interacting with you guys. And remember to be a good steward of all that God has given you because he truly loves us so much. And I will see you next time and I will have a haul for you next time. Bye.